dear viewers, welcome to today's Daily Dynamite Devotional, a devotional of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us pray. Almighty Father, we thank you for this day that you've made us to be part of. Be thou exalted for your mercy and your kindness upon our lives. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for your blessings upon our lives. We thank you for your grace that is abundant unto us. Be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you bless us this morning through your word. Father, that at the climax of everything, your name will be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Welcome once again. Today, we will be meditating on the topic, Get Your Hands on Your Wealth. Today is Wednesday, the 26th day of April, 2023. The Bible passage we'll be looking at is the book of Ephesians, chapter 3. We will read from verse 1 to the last verse of it. For this reason, I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, for the sake of you Gentiles, surely you have heard about the administration of God's grace that was given to you, me for you, that is, the mystery made known to me by revelation, as I have already written briefly. In reading this, then you will be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to men in other generations, as it has now been revealed by the Spirit to God's holy apostles and prophets. This mystery is that through the gospel, the Gentiles are heirs together with Israel, members together of one body, and shares together in the promise in Christ Jesus. I became a servant of this gospel by the gift of God's grace, given me through the working of his power. Although I am less than the least of all God's people, this grace was given me to preach to the Gentiles, the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make plain to everyone the administration of his mystery, which for ages past was kept hidden in God, who created all things. His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heaven realms, according to his internal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord, in him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. I ask you, therefore, not to be discouraged because of the sufferings for you, which are your glory. For this reason, I knew before the Father, from whom his, holy, his whole family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know his love Filled to the measure of the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurable more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord. This morning, we will be Meditating on this topic, get your hands on your wealth. First, when we talk about wealth, wealth basically means resources that is available or at the disposal of a particular person. Here, we you know, see Paul praying for the Gentiles, and his prayer was majorly on the enablement of God through his Holy Spirit, that the Lord will enable them to be able to do that which ordinarily in their own strength they cannot do. I want to make it known to us this morning that the Lord Jesus Christ whom we serve 
has abundant wealth. And his wealth is always available to everyone who is ready to be partakers and to as well join in his fellowship. Praise the Lord. In our daily, uh, in our devotional, the anchor verse that is being given to us here is verse 20. And in verse 20, I read, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. I want us to take cognizance of this particular phrase, the power that works in us. We must make ourselves available before we can be able to lay our hands on the wealth that the Lord has made available for those who believe in him. And this wealth can only be achieved when we surrender ourselves to the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. If we read the preceding chapters of the book of Ephesians, we will realize that Paul basically was praying for the uh, enlightenment of the church. He was praying that the Lord will enlighten the church, that they will come to the knowledge of who Christ is. But getting to chapter 33 of it, we realize that Paul was now praying for the enablement. And this enablement was centered on the Holy Spirit. And for us to be partakers of this enablement, we must be ready to surrender ourselves to the leading of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the abundant wealth that has been made open, that has been made available to every Christian that believes. The Holy Spirit helps us to do that which ordinarily we cannot do for ourselves. Take, for instance, in all the ministry of Jesus Christ here on earth, if you read the book of Luke chapter 4, you will realize that the Bible made it clear that in all, Jesus Christ was led by the Spirit. He was led by the Spirit, even when he was tempted. And I can boldly tell you that that was what made him victorious in all that he passed through here on earth. You need the companion of the Holy Spirit in everything you do as a person. Make yourself available to the leading of the Holy Spirit today, and you will see that things will turn around for your good. A lot of people this day have found themselves in frustration, a lot in addiction, a lot in all things that do not please the Lord. And we can only conquer all these things that we may have found ourselves or may have been caged in through the help of the Holy Spirit. A lot of people maybe who are caged in the addiction of smoking, drinking, or what have you, they may have tried in their own human capacity to stop all these things, but they see it is not working. But the reality remains that the Holy Spirit can help us to do everything that we sought for. The only thing you have to do today is to make yourself open to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And you will see that that which seems impossible to you will automatically become possible. It is very, very important that we have this mind that we are sons of God through Jesus Christ. And the only way we can activate the sonship of God is through surrendering ourselves and laying our hands on this well that God has made available for us, which is his Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. It is therefore very, very pertinent to know that the only resources we have for our Christian living is the Holy Spirit. The only resources that we have, the only wealth we have as Christians, even in our Christian living, is the Holy Spirit. No Christian can ever have to worry of inadequate spiritual resources. You don't have to worry about it. It is already at your disposal. The only thing you have to do is to make yourself available for it. Let us remember that in the anchor verse, Paul wrote that the Lord whom we serve can do abundantly even above what we ask or think. But then there is a phrase attached to it, which is the power that works in us. 
You must have a power that works in you, which is the power of the Holy Spirit. You can strengthen yourself to any level you wish to work with this Holy Spirit. And I want to assure you that he's always available to work with you if you make yourself available for him. If we pray for spiritual strength and spiritual depth, the Holy Spirit is always ready as well to make it available for us. I don't know where you may be listening to me from this morning. You may be in the sick bed, you may be in your shop, wherever. Things may not be working out the way you expected it in your life. You may be hopeless. You may all, almost be at the verge of frustration. But I want to assure you this morning that there is still hope for you. And this hope can come only when you surrender yourself to the leading of the Holy Spirit. In your academics, you may, have been, you may be having issues. You may be having challenges. You may be having your ups and downs. Yes, it happens to every man. But then, what matters is not these challenges. What matters is the victory that is attached in the power of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, I assure you this morning that as you come to the Lord and surrender yourself to the leading of the Holy Spirit, whatever that you may be passing through, the Lord will surely give you victory in the name of Jesus. Therefore, get your hands on your spiritual wealth by opening your heart to the Holy Spirit. The resources are there for you. They are there. Let us therefore finally look at how we can lay our hands on these resources. One of it is through prayers. You need to be a prayerful person. You need to pray. You need to pray. You need to surrender your life to the, to the leading of prayer. You must be a prayerful person. Secondly, you must always study the word of God. The, the, the entrance of the word of God bringeth light unto a person. All we need to do today is to accept the leading of the Holy Spirit and enjoy the benefit therein. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, may I be able to comprehend all the sense that is weight, length, and depth, and height of the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that I may be filled with all the fullness of God. For Heavenly Father, this is our prayer, that you may help us to know the length, the width, and the depth of your love for us, that we may be partakers and the, that we may be led by your spirit, that we may be able to enjoy the fullness of your glory. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I hope you are blessed by the word. Join us tomorrow on the Daily Dynamites.